Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to do an exercise for Wright Patterson Mahjong. This exercise is really good if you play in tournaments or events where there are prizes. If you don't know how to play yet though, there are links below the video to the lesson playlist and there's another link to a video playlist called Category Modeling and that will introduce you to all the hands. During this exercise, I'll be reading from the book so that you'll know what I'm playing. So for Charleston Force, I'm going to pick three random categories and I'm going to force myself to play a hand in those categories. That way when I play at a special event, I'll be able to force hands and win a prize. So we're going to pick three. Number hands, gate hands, date hands. Okay, our work is cut out for us. These two are pretty hard. Actually, they're all hard. <laughs> Let's roll for prevailing. I rolled a 12. Multiples of four are, um, is the seat wind for north. Okay, here we go. We're gonna take 14 random tiles. We'll just say we're the dealer here. And we're gonna create a mock Charleston. Right across left, three different passes, that's it. Right across left. Okay, let's see if we can force some hands here. So we have Number hands, gate hands, date hands. Number hands do not include terminals. Okay. So we have lots of multiples actually. I'm thinking we should try a, a number hand because we have fours, threes, and a five. Those are let me read the number hands to you here. Number hands are on page 22. We have Susie Q, Wally, Neutrality, and Eleanor. And they're all the same hand, except that they use different winds and dragons. So because we have a pair of Wests, we should try to play Wally. Wally is number 42. Three different numbers punged in each suit with a pung of West winds and a pair of white dragons. So we could do this right here. Three, four, five, Wally, West. We need white dragons, of course. Let's try it. So let's, let's go ahead and pass six, seven, green. No, let's save the green. Maybe we'll get south. South with green is Suzy Q. Let's pass Let's go ahead and break up the pair. You can't use terminals in number hands. That's why we're not using that. So we're gonna pass that. There's a white dragon for Wally. We can use both of these. We need to pair up some number tile here in dots. Let's go ahead and pass these three. There's a two. We got our pair. We can pung the three, pung the four, pung the two, pung the west. We need a pair of whites. This went really well, actually. Let's discard these three. We got a three. Our pung right there is ready to go. We have four discards to make Wally. There's our number hand right there. Pung the two. We've got the pung and the three. We need to pung the four, pung the west. We need a white dragon to win. Four discards, that was a really good Charleston for number hands. All right, let's go on to the next force. We're gonna try to force gate hands or date hands. Both of those are quite challenging. Let's roll for prevailing. I rolled an eight. Eight is north. 
There's our tiles, and we'll do a mock Charleston now. Okay, gate hands or date hands. That's what we're going to try to play here. Gate hands or date hands. So we have north and south. We'll see. I don't know if winds are in this year's date hands. I don't recall. I know there are a lot of sevens and fours. And we do have a couple. We're, north is prevailing and we have a pair of south. And we're the dealer. We're east. So that's not going to be helpful. Okay, we're going to look at date hands here. Let's see if we can make a date hand work. We're going to force it. So we have, we do have nines and souths. Okay. There's one hand, two hands that use winds. Number 82 on page 27, Lewis and Clark. 1802 and 1806, two different suits with news and a pung of prevailing wind. So we only need one south. The other one with honors, which are winds and dragons, is the may the fours be with you. Pairs of fours in each suit with seven odd honors and one honor paired. We don't have any dragons. Okay. So we're going to try to play Lewis and Clark. 1802 and 1806. All we have is one. Oh my gosh, we have three tiles. <laughs> wow. That. Oh wait, here's a four. Maybe we can play May the Fours Be With You. So either gate hand or date hand. I wonder if we could play, let's look really quick at Confused Gates. Confused Gates is number 20, or I'm sorry, number 34. Five on page 21. Two suits. Three suits. One, one, one in one suit. Nine, nine, nine in a second suit. And then two through eight in a third suit with one tile paired. That's much closer. All right, we're going to try confused gates. We need one cracks. Let's see what happens. Okay, this will be interesting. We have seven discards. We're going to try for confused gates. We need one cracks. We need a two dot, a four dot, and an eight dot. So let's give it a try. Let's break up the south right now so we don't get stuck with a pair. You don't want to pass a pair. So let's pass these three. There's an eight dot. Let's break up that pair and pass these three. What we really need is a one crack. Okay, there's a one dot and a west. None of that's helpful, actually. We don't need the two bam at all. Let's throw these three. Be nice to get a one crack. No, but we got a six dot. Yeah, we don't need a six dot. We've already got a pair, but we might as well keep it. You know what? No, that doesn't work. We got a nine crack. We could always switch between cracks and bams. I would hold on to the nine crack and discard those. So we made a pretty decent attempt at a gate hand. We badly need one cracks. Four dot. One cracks, two dot, and a four dot. That's what we need here for a gate hand. Okay, now we have to make a date hand work. We're going for a prize. Okay, let's roll for prevailing. I rolled a 10. 10 is south. South. There's our tiles. Let's make that Charleston. Date hand. Here we go. So 
So south is prevailing. Oh boy. This is not looking promising. I don't think. All right, let's look at date hands here. Date hands use dragons and we have no dragons. We do have an eight and a two though, and a two here. Maybe we could play Lewis and Clark. We do have a wind. If we're the dealer east and south is prevailing, we need news with a pung of, of prevailing wind. Oh no, we need white dragons to you. I don't think that's going to be a good one. Okay, is there any date hand that uses nines? Okay, well, there is Royal Wedding, number 84 on page 27. 429, 11 in two suits with red and white dragons paired. 429, 11 in two suits. We'll just keep every 429. 4, 2, 9, and 1, and dragons as we get them. The other option might be Christmas tree. Four pungs and a pair of 1, 5, 7, 9 in one suit with red or green dragon. So the key here is there are a lot of dragons and some wins in date hands for this publish. That's going to be a rough road right there. Let's hold that four. So four, two, four, nine, we need dragons. Let's pass these right here. See what happens. Dragon, keep it, two dot. Okay, let's just take a peek at that again. Okay, four, 29, 11, and two suits. 4, 29, 4, 29, 9, red. We need a white dragon. We don't need these. Let's hold the 7 because I know there are 4s and 7s that we might be able to use with the 9s too. Let's get rid of these 3. There's a 1. 42911 in two suits. 42911 leaving ourselves options here. Mars Pathfinder is another one. 741997 in two suits with a pair of red dragons. 741997 Seven four nineteen ninety seven in two suits. Let's hold that and throw these. Okay, let's see what happens. Wow, we got a two, and I don't think we can use that nine. Okay, I think we made this work pretty well here. Uh, we're in between Lewis and Clark. No, no, no. We gave up on Lewis and Clark. Sorry. Uh, we are in between Royal Wedding and Mars Pathfinder. Mars Pathfinder uses only one pair of dragons, whereas Royal Wedding uses two red and white dragons paired. We have no white dragon. So I think Mars Pathfinder is a possibility here. Seven, four, we don't need the two. We don't have a four bam. Seven, four, one, nine, nine seven in bams with a pair of red dragons so we need that and then seven four one nine nine seven in another suit i would just keep all of these and discard those and see what happens but i think we made a decent attempt at a date hand date hands i think are really difficult but we made it work. We got a lot of work to do though on that one. I don't know if that's gonna be a winner or not. If you play Wright Patterson Mahjong and you play in tournaments or in special events where there are prizes, 
practice this Charleston force and then at the next event see if you can win any prizes and come back and let me know. If you like this video give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet click subscribe. Click that bell too so you get notification of when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any of these exercises where I share different strategies and insights that may give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Force for Wright Patterson Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.